Hello everyone, welcome to part 30 of Laravel 9 series in which we are creating the multi-vendor e-commerce website. So we have finally finished the sections module and going to start working on the categories module. Okay, so I want to tell you and want to show you once again that what we have done. Uh, see, these are the sections that we have created. We have added the enable disable feature for the sections we can able to add the section we can able to edit the section we can able to delete the section we can make them active or inactive anytime okay so this is the dynamic sections we have given here in the multi vendor e-commerce website earlier on in advanced and basic e-commerce series we have not provided the dynamic feature for section at that time sections are fixed but now we can add any kind of sections any kind of categories subcategories products okay so full flexibility we have given to this multi vendor e-commerce website so i want to show you once again that we have completed this part we have uh, we have added clothing electronics and appliances these are the sections and we can able to add more sections to our website and that depends upon you as well you can add as per your own requirement Okay, so every section is having the categories here. We can see the men, women and kids categories and that further are having the subcategories. You can see the men is having the t-shirts and shirts. Women is having the tops and denims and kids is having the t-shirts, shirts and shorts. So we are going to work on this part now. So once again, I will tell you once again briefly here, uh, like uh, these are the sections. Uh, sections are uh, we can say electronics appliances or or computers okay so the sections first things are the sections then uh, we are having the categories okay and then we are having the subcategories if these are having these subcategories okay so these subcategories uh, can have the products and these can have the products okay so this is the kind of structure we are working on and we will going to continue this one okay even the categories can have the products directly uh, okay so it's not uh, the compulsion that the categories must have the subcategory you can directly add products to the categories as well okay so like i have shown you i uh, see uh, these are the sections so you can easily know that sections can be clothing, electronics, appliances, and these categories can be men, women, kids. Okay, these subcategories can be t-shirts, shirts, and uh, under that we are going to add the products. Okay, so let's start working on the sections and in this, sorry, the categories. And in this video, we are going to add the categories table and uh, we are going to insert some dummy categories as well. In fact, we are going to uh, add this men, women and kids categories under clothing section. Okay, so let's start. First of all, we are going to create the table here. Okay, I'm going to, this is my folder. I will right click new terminal add folder. Okay, if you are in, in Windows, you know that uh, how you can run your artisan commands. So here I'm going to give php artisan make migration. Okay, I'm going to create the categories table, create categories table. So our table, uh, our file has been created. We have created that migration file in which we are going to add the column, create categories table migration file. Okay, so we are going to create uh, some of the columns like uh, we are going to create the parent ID, section ID, category name, category image, category discount, description, URL, the merit title, description, keyword, status. Okay, so these columns are similar to the columns that we have created in the advanced e-commerce website. Okay, so the friends who uh, who uh, knows about the advanced e-commerce series, they find it really easy now. Okay, so because some of the features are uh, matching. So now we are going to add here first column in tier column we are going to take and see the every category may have the parent id as well okay so parent id will be zero if there is no parent category okay like uh, like in case of uh, uh, men women and kids 
parent id is zero because these are the parent uh, parent category itself so they don't have any parent further so we are going to add the zero as the parent id for these categories okay suppose if we will add t-shirt category then the t-shirt will have the parent that is the man so the t-shirt will have the parent category as one okay then we are going to add the one in the t-shirt category so i'm going to explain you in a better way in the future videos okay so don't worry about those things if something is not clear you can ask also ask me i will explain you further okay so one more we are going to add the section id okay every category is having some section so we are going to add the section id as well okay after that we are going to add the category name for that we are going to take the string okay so string for the category name we are going to create the category name for the string okay as the string okay so category name and after that uh, we are going to take the category image see uh, category may have the image as well we can uh, add the feature so that we can add the category image as well okay that also we will take as string okay after that uh, we will take the category discount every category can have the discount as well okay okay so uh, we are going to add the discount uh, for the category and for that we are going to add the float okay so i'm going to add here the category discount category score discount and after that we are going to add the description for the category so for description we are going to add the test field description can be long enough okay so that thing uh, so uh, we are going to uh, take the category url okay, every category is having some url so that is uh, we are going to add the url from the admin panel uh, so that the admin can add the uh, seo friendly url okay so as far the seo is concerned we are going to take seo side by side uh, so that for uh, seo we are going to add few columns like meta title Okay, so one another uh, to another we are going to take the meta title and then meta description and then keywords so uh, seo columns are always uh, useful always beneficially and mandatory nowadays seo is required for everything okay so last one is the string we are going to add the string we are going to add the tiny integer for the status okay for the status sorry for the status we are going to add the tiny integer okay not the string okay but uh, tiny integer we are going to add for the status column that will have the one or zero one for the active status and zero for the inactive like we have done for the sections as well so uh, just check once id integer for parent id integer for section id string for category name string for category image uh, float for uh, category discount and test for description uh, okay so string for url string for meta title string for meta description meta keywords and interview for status so it seems to be fine so we can now uh, we can now run the php artisan magnet command to create this table now okay so let's simply run php artisan magnet command so this has been done and now we can check that we able to generate the categories table yeah it is so we able to generate the categories table with all the required columns and now we can move further we are going to insert a few categories in inside this categories table but first of all we are also going to create the category model as well as the category controller and for that we are going to run the few artisan command uh, one is to create the category model php artisan make model category we are going to create the category model okay it has been created we are also going to create the category controller as well so for that php artisan make controller and we are going to create the controller inside the admin folder okay so for that we are going to create this controller inside admin folder like this country controller will come up here so it has been created as well okay so finally we will 
create one more command to generate the entries in this categories table to insert few uh, categories with the help of seeder okay so for that we will create php addition make seeder and here we are going to create the file seeder file category uh, table seeder okay category table seeder file we are going to create table seeder okay category table seeder so this file in this file we are going to add uh, the query to insert uh, the categories okay so model we are going to take it like use app models category okay this model we have created in our last step okay so we are going to attach this model and here we are going to uh, insert our queries here going to take category records category reports okay we're going to take it like this and here we are going to take okay so now it seems to be fine okay so first one is the id id we will take as one after that the parent id parent id we are going to take uh, like zero because uh, we are going to create uh, these uh, uh, see this one men women and kids and they don't have any parents so parent id will be zero for this one and section id is one because section id we are going to create under the first section and that is uh, the uh, this one clothing okay so clothing is having the one number we can even check here that the what clothing clothing is having the one number okay so clothing id is one so that we are going to add here one okay so after that category name category name so category name this one is man after that the category image we will left the category uh, image as empty for now okay so after that uh, category discount also uh, we will keep as zero for now okay and after that description description we can uh, make it empty for now okay url url is required for now so in the url we are going to have that like man okay and after the url meta title meta in meta title uh, we are okay we are going to left now right now uh, we will not insert anything also empty and finally meta keywords uh, also we are going to left it empty okay so this one we are going to refer repeat two more times one and two and now see simple enough here id2 uh, id3 okay parent id this one section id category here woman name kids okay so uh, here also we are going to keep like men then woman and then url will be kids so its url will be something like uh, uh, we can generate we can generate like uh, slash kids slash uh, okay uh, like url that we are going to create for the front end and these categories can be shown like men okay or you can also create like category men but category we will not show we will show directly men women kids like this okay so that we're going to work on later on when we'll work on front end okay but right now we are just uh, uh, generating the categories to display in the admin panel so that we can able to uh, perform the other activities like uh, edit categories delete categories active and inactive categories that is only possible if we are going to insert few dummy entries okay so now see now we are going to simply uh, insert these categories category insert and finally we are going to insert these category records okay so now it has been done now we are going to uh, open the database seeder file and in database seeder uh, we are going to add uh, and comment this one comment the last one okay so simply comment the last one and here we are going to use this category table seeder and we are going to run now 
run we are going to run that php addition db seed to insert the categories okay so one final thing we are going to do okay so in ecom 9 okay so uh, we are going to insert the categories here okay so uh, let's run one final command php artisan db seed okay so it shown some error we are going to check field status does not have a default value either we may have left uh, status i think okay yeah status we have left one column that we uh, left with so we are going to add the status as one for all three we can do in the same way and now we are going to try once again and hope this time no issue will come and now we are going to see see this time the successful database seeding completed successfully so we able to generate the data so let's check it and see we able to generate the data in the categories table you can see we able to generate the parent id is zero section id is one men women kids are the category name and credit discount is zero url is the men women and kids and status is active for now okay so we able to insert the categories in categories table with the help of seeder okay so you can try this one at your end and in the next video we are going to display these categories here in admin panel along with the active inactive status and in the data table okay then we will further uh, going to add edit the categories as well then we'll also add the subcategories to the categories so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye